welcome to the webinar. Hope you had an awesome long weekend if you are in Victoria, ACT, South Australia, or Tasmania. And everyone else, hope you had a great start to the week yesterday. I'm Beatrice Lam, the Field Marketing Manager for Barracuda MSP APEC. Joining us today is Matt Caffrey. He is our sales engineer, and he will take you through the Barracuda Free Sales 2 presentation today. This webinar should take around 30 minutes. If you have any questions, please type them in the Q&A panel. And as per usual, we'll go through them at the very end. On that note, Matt, over to you. Thank you, Beatrice. And thank you everyone for joining. So what's in store for the next 30 minutes? We're gonna look at email threat scanner version two in action um, to identify social engineering. Uh, impersonation and extortion attacks. We can find out also via that same report, uh, the domains are at risk. We'll go through that. Uh, then, yeah, so we're obviously gonna leverage that as a sales tool to get more leads and revenue with inside your business. And then there's also a bonus uh, tool there for MSPs uh, that we're gonna be uh, bringing forward to you today. So stay tuned until the end. And at the very end, uh, we'll have uh, resources uh, and uh, Q&A if you've got any questions. So the email threat scanner in its new form, here it is. Um, you can go to barracudamsp.com forward slash free scan to start scanning today. It's a free tool to help manage service providers detect email threats such as spear phishing, conversation hijacking, uh, service impersonation, among many others. These are the emails that have passed the traditional email gateway solution that would be in play. The free sales tool has recently got a facelift, as I'd mentioned before, which makes it uh, easier uh, to report uh, and then go through that report, be it a tech, a business owner, of an MSP or the client of that managed service provider. So there is a scan preview. So when you're going through and setting up your email thread scanner, you can um, preview and see how far it has gotten through, which is a, a great improvement to, to this new version. So you can monitor the scan whilst the progress bar continues through. And, and also you can see early um, results um, of those, those attacks that have been found uh, at that point in time. In 2020, around 4,500 organizations used Barracuda's email threat scanner to scan 2.6 million unique mailboxes and found just over 2 million unique attacks within those 2.6 million mailboxes. That's on average 512 attacks per organization, which have gotten past the gateway. 14% of those had at least one email attack detected within a mailbox. And 59% of them were phishing scams. The, and I would also like to add a, a bit more to that. The second most common threat type was scamming at 39%, just to follow on from the 59. And the next is extortion at 9%, followed by a business email compromise at 8%. Business email compromise was less prevalent but cyber criminals tend to send those types of email attacks to smaller volumes because they're highly personalized. They tend to leverage important information um, from yeah, the individual's LinkedIn or a traditional Google search for that targeted victim and therefore a more customizable approach. Uh, resulting in a, a lower percentage there of, of attacks, although very, very well crafted and um, uh, easier to mislead an individual. So uh, each scan 
provides a report on the attacks found inside the Microsoft 365 Exchange environment using Microsoft's API to connect in from Barracuda. As well as at risk domains and employees, this helps the MSP to identify gaps in your customer's existing email protection and assess their email security vulnerabilities, such as at risk domains and employees. This is a powerful tool to upsell and demonstrate value to your customer that you're constantly keeping ahead of the curve on a security standpoint. And then obviously the email threat scanner being free has no cost at all. As long as you've got access to your client's Microsoft 365 global admin, you can run this scan an unlimited amount of times for free. Now onto the demo. So you can see here, this is the new email threat scanner. I've done a scan before on my own tenant. To set that up, you would go to the free scan link and then you would create a, a customer or a, an account inside Barracuda. You can then connect it to Microsoft 365 and then you'd run an email threat scan. So I would pick that. I would then pick the organization that I want to scan and then you would connect it to Microsoft 365. Microsoft will then ask you for the account that you want to pick for that tenant and then we would accept From there, we can then see it's now connecting to Microsoft 365's tenant via API, and it's starting the scan momentarily. So if I go through and uh, refresh, we should be able to see that they're starting to process emails. You can see that there's already 513 emails that have already been scanned. And the time remaining on this tenant is four minutes. If we go through to a previous scan, you can see here that it's nicely uh, set out where there's an overview. You can look at employees and threats and then domains. So you can look at the threats found. There's two in this individual mailbox. The employees with threats is one individual. So there's two threats within that one em employee and they're of a phishing type flavor. Down here, we can look at the employees that are at most risk. So. Uh, there is one risky employee here that manages invoicing. If that employee had a title of uh, CEO, then that would bump up that risk. And then there's a, a user here that has a, a lower risk. However, they've got two uh, emails that have been um, spotted. And we can drill into those emails. So you can see here, there's a FedEx shipment email and also a Microsoft Outlook email. We can drill into that and then take a look at the actual email itself is previewed here. There's also uh, headers, so header information of where it's come from, where it's going to, and then um, our analysis. So FedEx doesn't typically send emails from this address and it contains a suspicious URL that FedEx doesn't typically use in this case. And that's why we've uh, detected it here. If we go through to the Microsoft one, we can see here, you know, it's a tr traditional type mailbox in, um, phishing email. Same thing, Microsoft doesn't typically use this email address and Microsoft doesn't typically uh, send this suspicious URL. Well, it doesn't at all. Uh, you can see down the bottom left-hand corner there, uh, if you were to click on activate, then it would be going to a different site than Microsoft. If we scroll down, we can look at threats to the security and then see what types of attacks they are. You can also filter down on those attacks and you can also search with inside here for uh, the, the actual email itself. And then very least, uh, last but not very least, is the DMARC protection status to see if DMARC is actually being observed. Uh, from what my experience is that uh, DMARC is severely underutilized by most MSPs. Um, and we've got a great reporting tool in Sentinel that helps you visualize DMARC reporting uh, and then ensure that you're um, setting uh, that in place. So uh, your domains aren't being uh, impersonated and causing brand damage uh, unbeknownst to the customer.
So in terms of the email threat scan, I've got two um, use case scenarios where you'd be able to use that report to show exactly what emails are within inside their 365 and then obviously demonstrating that value of what has been uh, past that gateway. Uh, since we're using machine learning and AI, we're able to look at the sending and receiving habits of an individual and then contextualize that, uh, that mail with inside the, the mailbox and identify these threats. The report also uh, enables MSPs to gather much needed uh, information or data on those that would be targeted uh, within inside an organization to leverage uh, managed fish line. That's our end user awareness training platform. So you can target it to those individuals. So we have a few highlights here. Uh, no matter if they're a C-level or a director level, um, we can identify those. If they, as I mentioned, uh, handle invoices, they're going to be of a higher risk to the organization. Uh, therefore, targeting them um, is, is all that much worth it. Emails, obviously, they're going to be lurking with inside the business, and they're going to be uh, continue to be a risk no matter the age. So having that insight to those mailboxes uh, from a historical purpose uh, is advantageous. And then lastly, but not la uh, least, as I'd mentioned previously, uh, leveraging DMARC uh, to avoid that, um, that brand impersonation. If you need any more information on DMARC, I'm happy to discuss that uh, in, in a meeting if you wish. So off the back of the email threat scanner, our product is Sentinel. It uses the same engine, which uh, enables the remediation of those holes in the uh, threat scan that it identifies. Barracuda integrates directly into Microsoft 365 to find those threats inside the, the mail system uh, that the security gateway can't see. Sentinel uses artificial intelligence to stop spear phishing attacks. And Barracuda recently won the uh, best use of AI machine learning uh, with the Supercomputer Awards in Europe. Traditional gateway defenses miss these types of attacks, especially when they go without a payload or malicious attachment. Barracuda Sentinel applies machine learning techniques to build a model of what is a good email for a specific user and what it's likely to, to look like. Why is this important to you? It means that important emails get through when they are supposed to, while spear phishing attacks get stopped in their tracks. Sentinel obviously uh, integrates an intuitive wizard to easily set up DMARC, as I'd mentioned, and, and also be able to monitor D DMARC in that case. So as I'd mentioned at the start of the um, webinar here, we've got another free tool to help MSPs grow with their business opportunities. It's called Microsoft, uh, sorry, Barracuda MSPs Data Inspector. So data security is you know, detecting those anomalies, you know, making sure that we've got a classification of, a da of data types and where that data is and where it's going to. That then circles around to enforcement and therefore alerting and automation actions to make sure that that data is being dealt with in accordance to the regulations of the local government or the policy of the organization. So as I mentioned, it's, it's good for data government, governance here, data inspector. It's just like the email threat scan. If you have any customers, prospects that are driven by data governments and compliance, you'll find this very interesting. It's available for private preview for Barracuda MSP customers. So you can go to app.datainspector.barracuda.com and we're able to uh, run that. Um, if you need any more information on going through the report, I'm very happy to help. 
in terms of the notifications that Data Inspector comes out with, if there are any violations, you can see here that there is a couple of, uh, of screenshots. Uh, now that would be a content policy violation and then a digest of those. So then you're aware of these individual um, issues that are with inside the uh, OneDrive of the individual. You can also see here, um, this is the admin backend where you've got uh, you know, personal IDs that are uh, found here in, you know, for instance, a letter to HR. You can preview that with the information that is a personal ID is actually obfuscated from the administrator. So then you are unable to, to see that, but you'll be able to uh, raise that alert to the individual uh, that is in question. One extra thing with this system, it's cloud native in Azure. There's no software or agents. It's just gonna connect via API. And it's easily, um, it's a modular application. So it's easily um, able to uh, look at different data classifications there. I've had two use cases uh, with current MSPs that are, are leveraging Data Inspector. One found that they had some, some passwords in there in a plain text format uh, that had long since expired back in 2009. And then the second, uh, they actually had uh, credit card details uh, stored with inside um, one of their customers, within the MSP's customer, which obviously isn't best practice. And something as easily as a business email compromise would be dire for that account. Um, so you know, those uh, credit card numbers and, and expiries were in there, which could be uh, used for nefarious purposes. So the key takeaways here, um, obviously, yeah, we want to target those employees at risk and obviously the organization as a whole. Uh, within uh, using the email threat scanner, which is a free tool. Secondly, the free tool, which is Data Inspector, can uncover vulnerabilities uh, with data at rest. Today, um, if you scan today, and you are the first 10 MSPs to run the scan, you'll get a Barracuda MSP, uh, choice of Barracuda MSP uh, merchandise which is shown up here on the screen, or a $25 Uber each voucher. So to up-level your security game, you can book a demo with me and we can discuss what your client's requirements are um, on any of the Barracuda suite products. Easily bookable by that link at the top there. And then to see Sentinel in action, I can take you through that. And then if you need any uh, guidance, as I've mentioned before, on scan results, I'm happy to go through those with yourself. At the end of every um, session we have here, we, we talk about the resources and these are great resources for MSPs. We've got the MSP uh, resources there at uh, barracudamsp.com, uh, security insights and, and threat intelligence through csi.barracuda.com and smartermsp.com uh, to uh, look at uh, what other MSPs are doing um, and share the, the, the knowledge amongst the domain of, of MSPs across the globe. Thank you, and then over to any questions. Great, thank you, Matt, for showing us the new Barracuda email threat scanner and the bonus to data inspector. I'm sure it'd be very valuable for our MSP to use. And I um, just want to clarify the offer we're running today. If you're the first 10 MSPs to run the email threat scanner, we'll send you the Barracuda MSP goodies back plus the $25 Uber Eats voucher. So I just want to clarify then. And let's look at some of your questions now. Matt, are you ready? Yeah. Apologies, yeah, I didn't realize it was uh, both. That's all right. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you get uh, double, <laughs> double the amount of goodies there uh, to run that scan. Yeah. Nice. So the first question is, sorry, let me pop this up. Um, so from Carlson, can you show the link to the 
email threat scan and the second tool you mentioned. Um, actually, let me bring up this slide. So the email threat scanner link is here, brokeredmsp.com slash free scanned. And the next one is here. So we will send you guys the link as well after the webinar. So um, feel free to take a screenshot if you want. And the next question is from Jamie. How far back can you run the scan and the data inspector? Yeah, for the email threat scan, uh, it's it's going to be one year's worth of email inside the tenant. Um, and then for, so on that one there, one year. And then with data inspector, it's the first 10,000 items um, or 100 findings um, with inside that tenant. If you need any more information on either of those or um, the ability to decipher them, um, yeah, you're more than welcome to book a demo with myself and I can go through that with you. Yep, thank you, Matt. And the next question is from Darren. Is the email threat report rebrandable? At present, it's going to be branded Barracuda, but um, yeah, uh, I'll definitely feed that back into the business. Yeah, awesome. And um, I just want to add to this, actually, you can even use the email threat scanner results to produce your own content. For example, you can run the scanned on your current clients and you can come up with the average threats you find in there inboxes and then you can produce maybe just like a one page fact sheet and share with your prospect or use it as a lead magnet on your website so this is something that you can do as well as part of your marketing campaign yeah just a tip for you guys i can see that there are a couple of questions um regarding the pricing of sentinel so what i'll do is um get kingsley or luke to reach out to you after this webinar to get you some costing and even give you some NFLs if you need to produce a POC for your clients. And then I'll be able to take you through that onboarding as well, post that. Yeah, great. Thank you, Matt. And I believe you also provide training as part of the onboarding process. That is correct. Yeah, for each of our products, um, yeah, you'll have time with me to onboard uh, that product. And then um, if you have any other questions, um, aside from support, you can always come to me. I'm always available for that. Awesome. Thank you, Matt. So I just want to show you guys here, if you want to book a demo with Matt, here's the link. And if you have any other questions or just want to find out more on how we can help grow your MSP business, please feel free to reach out to the team. Our details are on the screen. So that's all the questions that we have. So if you have any more, um, yeah, just give it a shout and we'll get back to you. So that's it for today. Thank you so much, Matt, for showing us the presentation today. And thank you everyone for joining. We hope you learned something new and we'll see you next time. Cheers. See you guys.